first thing you'll need to do is bring your DXF file in CYP cut. In order to use the nesting feature, all files imported must be a DXF file format. Go to File, Import DXF File. Once the file is imported, you'll want to check some things with the file. Grab the file, making sure it's highlighted. Then click on Draw. Then Combine Near to make sure it is a closed shape. Also make sure there are no double lines by clicking on Remove Duplication. Then click on each line of the file. If there are no double lines, the line will turn to a dashed line when selected. Next, you can change or check the size of the file. Click on Home towards the top, then Scale, and here you can scale the object to the correct size. Next, you'll want to add your leads. Just click on Lead towards the top. Type 2 millimeters in the length box. Make sure the leads are in the right position, ensuring the laser starts correctly. You can also run a test to ensure the part fits correctly by using the compensation tool. This will compensate the inside or the outside offset for the width of the laser. By zooming in, you can see the white line is inside the circle and the white line outside the outer edge. This will compensate for the curve of the laser or adjust to your tolerances. Once the leads and compensation lines have been added, you can save the file as an LXD document. Next, open a new project in CYP Cut. Here we will nest the file. Click on Nest on the top. Click Part, then import the LXD file you just saved. For this example, we already had multiple LXD files saved, and we will import them all. Each one has its own individual name. Next, we will tell the software how many pieces we want cut of each file. Once that is done, click on the Auto Nest icon in the Nest toolbar. Here the software will ask you what you want your tolerance parts gap and your plate margins to be. Nest strategy will be arrayed. You can preload sizes of plates by clicking the standard plates drop box. If you have a custom plate, you can also type that in. You can also put in the type of material you are using as well as the thickness. Once all this is complete, hit OK and CYP Cut will begin nesting your files. Processing time will vary based on the speed of your computer and amount of parts to be nested. Now it is telling us we will need three full sheets of material in order to make this production batch. The software will determine the pattern of each cut to get as much full use of each sheet as possible. It will also show the sheet utilization in percentage. The white lines we see are to show us where there is a compensation line. Not all the parts need a compensation. This will depend on your tolerances. Another great feature in the software is the ability to generate a cost report by right-clicking on the nest results and going to generate report. It will ask you for a cut speed. If you do not know the cut speed, we recommend running some test cuts to dial in your settings. For this example, we will say the cut speed is 40 millimeters per second. You will need to include the actual settings for the pierce time, whether it's one stage, two stage, or three stages, and all other information needed and the actual cut settings that are required with the delay times. All of this data is required to generate the report. Once you have completed this, press OK and a report will be generated. Once CYP Cut completes the report, it will produce a PDF format showing the three sheets and the cutting patterns they will have. It will give you the cut length and move length, which is when the machine moves without cutting, and the planned process time. It will also give you a recap of all the different parts that have been nested. Next, it will also give you a cost report, telling you how much gas and power the machine will be using. This will help you to determine how much to charge for a job. Finally, you can simulate the project to see how the machine will cut. Once all this is completed, you are ready to send the batch to the machine and begin cutting.